Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Last time, oh, okay, well. Last time, oh, a timid monkey, yeah, that, that'll be, that'll work out. Eeky cack. So, I see you're trained in the arts of monkey combat. But yeah, last time we made it to the second half of Monkey Island and learned about monkey combat. And we also got an accordion. Today, we're about to take part in some monkey combat. He's maintaining his stance. It is a draw. All right, so, yeah, you got your little button combinations right there. Um, what brings up the chart? R2. All right, so, yeah, if we wanted to maintain this stance, we would do square, square, square. But... Oh, it doesn't show you what beats what until you've achieved said stance. All right, well, fine. Monkey see, monkey do. So, yeah, um, not the most riveting gameplay thing. Eek, chi, oop. Charging Chimp defeats Gibby Gibbon. Well, I need to fill out my uh, insult thing anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through this, learning new moves for the most part, and then I'll try to focus on actually beating these monkeys. He's maintaining the stance. It's not necessary, guy brush. And then... Uh... Wait, didn't he say, like, eek eek chi when I talked to him? Because I think that might be... Eek eek chi. Ow. Ah, oh, that was a foul. All right, fair enough. That was a foul, too. So you're just an idiot. Okay, um... Eek, eek, eek. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, three draws, they get mad, hit their head, and then run off. Keep that in mind. I know, phone, thank you. Uh, oh, great, another monkey. Eh, fine, whatever, let's... Crap, did he say Akchi Eek? I wasn't even paying attention. Ah, frick. Whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this one. There's no need to, like, go through it all. Chiupak. You already learned that one? Chiupak? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to all the stances at least once, and then we'll be good to go. We're gonna start actually, like, playing. Oopak. Eek. I don't have that one yet, right? Nope. Oopak. Eek. I mean, it's a neat enough concept, but it's kind of slow in terms of like, wait, eek chi oop. No, yeah, I already have that. Ow. Like, it's slow in like learning how to do it. I could try to brute force learning the other two, but it's not worth it. Um. Whatever, let's deal some damage to him. So you can at least see this. Yeah, Guybrush, he has the power of the force. Eek chi oop. So yeah, we're just gonna be stuck in this triangle, huh? So I guess that's all I'm gonna get out of uh, a timid monkey. I need to find a different kind. So yeah, you're doing that, then I just do... But he has the advantage, so he's probably going to beat me. 
Geek Chi. Yeah, we're just in a triangle, like a, a never ending tri. Oh no, he just went for the draw. Well, that allows me to get the advantage, I guess. Why am I putting so much effort into this? Of all things. Oh yeah, but I don't have the. Crap, okay. Um. Look, I just want Drunken Monkey. That's all I want. That was a sure you can. Oop, ack, eek. Is that new? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, that is new. He just did oop, ack, eek! Did he? Oh my freaking god. I... <sighs> I don't think I have the hang of this yet. Yeah, it's a learning process. Like I was saying, like as a concept on its own, it's pretty cool. But the fact that you sort of have to like trial and error your way to figuring out everything about it. I mean, granted, you know, that's what any game, but I mean, like, the rule set, I don't know, like, in any other strategy game, you would have the complete rule set there, and then you just strategize based on that. With this, it's cryptic in a sense that, you know, you have the five stances, but you don't know how to get to each one, so you got a trial and error, like, through all these monkey fights to get them, and that's kind of, eh. But all right. World famous giant monkey head. Because we haven't visited here. Yeah, that's a giant monkey head, all right. And it's silver. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed, it is silver. Well, grayish, you know, stone. I can't believe I'm looking up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like there's some sort of... That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. What's the biggest? I can't believe I'm looking up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like there's some sort of latch in there. I wonder. Yeah, just pick its nose. That'll work. I guess there's more than one way to skin a monkey. I sure am glad I've got this banana picker. You didn't skin the monkey, though. Oh, you're just gonna leave the banana picker there? Hopefully we won't need it. And there's the grave to Jojo Senior. Jojo Senior, loyal to the end. It's your fault, guy brush. Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. Well see where it leads, dummy. This place looks like some sort of control room. I can't imagine that this actually steers anything. This must be the captain's chair. It's got an armrest control pad thing. Looks like an interior designer must have been trapped on the island at one time. They look like controls of some sort. There appear to be a bunch of valves and pressure lines running into this control panel. Yeah, there's really not much we can do here just yet. I'm gonna save you the trouble. All right, well, yeah, we're gonna leave that banana picker there. Why am I walking out like a common mongrel? No, I can just do this. What's wrong with me? All right, so we got an accordion. Please, monkey, stay away from me. Thank you. So let's go back to Herman. Yeah, interesting that we got like a, you know, a grayish, silverish giant monkey head. You know, Jojo Jr. has a bronze hat and we were in something that looked pretty golden from what i remember like in the mines ah just a coincidence i guess actually wait wh wh where were the freaking mines again oh yeah over, over here <laughs> memory Because now I don't think we can ever go back in because of the lava. I'm not going 
going into any cave that's hot and smells like burning rotten eggs. Coward. Discord is just popping the frick off. Good lord. All right, whatever. And then here we go. Back to the campsite, Herman. Uh, hope you don't mind more brute force trauma to your skull. Or blunt object, blunt trauma to your skull. What? Whatever. Trauma. We're, we're, we're going to throw something at his head again. Herman? Where? Ow! Ouch! What in the name of... Hey, I just remembered where I left my pants. That's, um, great, I guess. Uh, what about Ozymandro? Ozymandro? Never heard of him. <gasps> Wait! Now I remember! Oh no! By Tratton's panty line, this is horrible! Herman? Oh? Oh yeah, that's me. Herman. <laughs> Listen, Junior, you better take a seat because I got some whale staggering news to lay on you. I didn't know whales could stagger, but go ahead. Okay, first of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island. With nothing but a busted accordion, most of the clothes on my back, and a head full of broken memories. Is this gonna take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. Do it, Blondie, this is important. Like so many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Australia? Wait a minute. Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog when I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors, an unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Well, to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean? Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. Suddenly, I found myself being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I hate it when that happens. It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible voodoo secrets. Secrets that men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. By the time I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion, H.T. H.T.? Wait a minute, you're not telling me that you're really... That's right. My real name is Horatio Torquemada Marley. B -b -b but you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago, off the coast of Australia, in a boat race. Grandpa! Get your stinking hands off of me, you blamed octopus! But, sir, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the seven seas. Somebody get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. It's a small world after all. So, yeah, Herman Toothrot is actually... <laughs> Elaine's granddad. And he's the reason why Ozzy Mandrill is doing the things here. I mean, he was just trying to cheer him up, but still. Alright. Grandpa? Quit calling me that. 
That's no way to talk, sir. We're gonna have to work together to defeat Ozzy and LeChuck. LeChuck's involved, too? Actually, he's the <laughs> new governor of Melee Island. Oh, come on! I wanted to hear you say Ozzy and the duck. She disappeared right after the election. Whew, that's a relief. Why? Because of the one secret I didn't reveal to Ozzy before he tried to kill me. The secret of your missing pants. The secret to milking a questionably popular video game franchise. The secret to milking a questionably popular. Which video is what game they were franchise? doing, but. Of course. Yeah. I'm talking about the secret of the fourth piece of the fourth ultimate insult. Fourth piece. The one that had to do with the governorship of Melee Island. I was wondering about that. What is it? It's this. That looks like the Melee Island gubernatorial seal. It is the official gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. One of them, anyway. A good governor always keeps a spare around, in case the original gets lost. The seal is the key to unlocking the dread power of the ultimate insult. Without it, it's just a funky-looking maraca. Now, Guybrush, this is very important. Where is the other gubernatorial seal? I guess it's with Elaine. She rarely lets it out of her sight. Oh, that's good. As long as Ozzy and LeChuck don't find her, they'll never be able to make the ultimate insult work. How convenient that Elaine took the seal before we went to Jambalaya Island. Ah, good times, free grog, my pockmarked fanny. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Don't be looking at me, you mangy mongrel. I voted for Elaine, I did. Well, I certainly didn't vote for that bilge rat, LeChuck. Well, if none of us voted for him, then why is he the governor? And why are we being forced to build this colossal commemorative statue of him in the center of town? Ah, uh, shut up! This is horrible. LeChuck has enslaved my people. It's a good thing my grandfather isn't alive to see this. Why is he making them build that statue? What does that have to do with the ultimate insult? What's happened to Guybrush? What's that smell? Oh, ex-Governor Marley. You're a hard woman to find, you know that? Obviously, not hard enough. You must be Pegnose Pete. Aye, the Governor and Mr. Mandrill have a few questions they'd like to ask you. Gee, you know, I'd like to, but I have to wash my hair for the next seven years. I really must insist. Drant. Of course it was Peg Nose Pete that got the drop on her. Man, that oh, what a way to go down. Peg Nose Pete. You got caught by him. He even got no nose. Man, come on. Alright, whatever. Ozzy and LeChuck don't find Elaine. The ultimate insult can never be completed. Maybe we should come up with a backup plan. Yeah. No, no, do not throw that at him. No, 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 no. Horatio? Yep. How does it feel to have your memory back? How does it feel? Let's see. Before you hit me with that accordion, I was a carefree hermit on a tropical island. Now, I've got a dim wit for a grandson-in-law, a granddaughter who's imperiled by not one, but two beings of unspeakable evil, and the knowledge that every pirate in the Tri-Island area might be wiped out by a mistake I made over 20 years ago! How do you think I feel, Seep Good? Um, cautiously optimistic? Uh... Alright, let, let's go on from that. How am I supposed to defeat the ultimate insult? You shouldn't have to, as long as my granddaughter keeps the gubernatorial symbol away from those goons. Well, let's just suppose that something goes wrong. How would I stop an ultimate insult talisman? Hmm, that's tricky. I suppose you could just build a bigger ultimate insult talisman. That might work, but... But what? If you wanted it to generate ultimate comebacks, you'd have to master the ancient tongue of the ultimate insult. How hard could that be? Pretty dang hard. It's really ancient. How ancient? It's monkey jabber. The language of the ultimate insult is monkey jabber? Yep. Pretty ancient, huh? Well, it's a good thing we're on Monkey Island, then. Keep all of that in mind. I'm a little unclear on this counteracting the ultimate insult thing. Right. 
My granddaughter must have had a lobotomy after I left. Listen carefully, Spanky. First of all, you gotta build a big version of the ultimate insult. You'll use this to generate ultimate comebacks. While you're doing that, find some monkeys so you can master the ancient language of the ultimate insult. Lastly, and this is most important, stop bugging me! Rude. How am I supposed to get off this island? Splinky, I have no idea. Right now, I'd trade all the gold in my mind to bring back my creaky old ship. All right, then. See you later, Governor. Not if I see you first. So, yeah, looks like we need to master monkey speak. And I was kind of in the process of doing that. Oh my god. Alright, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do some monkey combat now. This is... This is great. This is great. It, I have to actually beat some monkeys before I can even challenge Jojo Jr. But you should begin to start seeing some things fall into place here. Like LeChuck and Ozzy are forcing the pirates to build a giant thing and to stop a big insult you have to counteract it with an even bigger one yeah things are beginning to fall into place all right monkey let's fight oh my god this is gonna take forever Well, that was an easy one. Also, shout out to that uh, handy R2 chart that is not existent in the PC version of the game. <laughs> ha, I, won. I feel bad for people that played that version over the PS2. Hey, first victory. Okay, so now I think we can start fighting uh, stronger monkeys. Yeah, he's a smelly one. All right, so we can learn some new things, I guess. So... I'm just here to get drunken monkey. That's all I really want. Okay, well, another victory without me learning anything new. Cool, I guess? At least Guybrush's Victory Dance is entertaining enough to make this pretty worthwhile. Alright, so yeah, I think we need to defeat one more kind of monkey. We, we beat Timid, we beat Smelly, so now we got Strapping. Alright. So what, this monkey's strapped up? Like he's gonna shoot us or something? Like what? That's what y'all mean by strapping? Cause that don't look like a strapping young lad of a monkey. He don't look handsome. So nah, that must mean he's strapped up. You know, he got a coconut gun. And it will fire in spurs. Ak, ak, oop, eek. <gasps> we got something new! 
and I could beat him, but I need to learn that. <laughs> like, I could have maintained my stance, but I, I need to learn these. So. Okay, why am I beating these monkeys with, like, no issue whatsoever? But you pretty much just have to rely on the AI to make a single mistake, because... Hey, I'm getting pretty good. When you have the advantage, like, that, that's pretty much it. Like, you're you're never going to, like... I, I, I don't know. It, it's just weird how it's set up. Like, whoever goes first is pretty much guaranteed to win. Hey, a brawny monkey about to fight a brand of paper towel that, that is the, the brand name right brawny brawny he don't look so tough let's rumble oh you <laughs> stupid monkey eek chi oop this is this is grade school stuff but all right They're not even trying anymore. This is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... I need to know these combinations. Oh, well, whatever. Um, guess I'm gonna be fighting JoJo Jr. without, like, a full log of stuff. Oh, my God, I don't know how to get to anything else from this. Cause that's gonna be a foul. I I, I can't. <sighs> Whatever. Draw. Now give me something new. Ak oop eek. I mean, I think I already. Know that. Yeah. But I don't know any other combination out from this stance. So I have to get a draw. They are not cooperating with me. 
Oh my god! <laughs> well, that is new. But we're about to piss him off, so whatever. I just need to learn these combinations. Like, that that's all. So maybe it's five kinds of monkeys I have to beat, and uh, then I, I can challenge Jojo. Jo jo let, let, let's see if we can challenge him like this. I mean, I probably shouldn't, considering like there's still some combinations that I kind of need, but... Hello again, monkey prince. Greetings, unenlightened one. Hey, how dare you, okay? I challenge you to monkey combat. I can see you've been training. Perhaps you are okay, it is just prophecies. three, I guess. Eh, and then after that, Wait you just what? try to learn Wait more combinations. Monkey combat! Test your might. All right, let's give it a shot. On guard, monkey. You are good, but are you? Yes. G oop ack. All right then, Jojo. I see that stance, and I raise you one. This. Okay, so you got that stance going on. I'm gonna hit you with some of this. ta -dow. Please make a mistake, because you kind of have the advantage. Okay, then. You got that going on? Please, I need you to make a single mistake so you lose the advantage. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, then. Um... No, because, like, I don't know what the one on the right interacts with his stance to, but considering there's already two weaknesses going, or two things that beat his stance going into it, it's probably going to beat whatever that stance on the right is, so I'll just play it safe. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to win this. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's going to win. Like, I'm not being defeatist about this. I mean, like, it's impossible. I guess I need to raise my HP a little more by fighting more grunts, but... I don't know. Thank you.
Wait, did he just screw himself out of a win? Because I had completely given up. I think he just screwed himself. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I can do the left. I can do the left, okay. He completely screwed himself out of a win. He was afraid. I should not have won that. But like that draw I went for helped me out greatly. I had foreseen losing my crown eventually, but not to such an unlikely opponent. The honor of victory is yours, Guybrush, as well as the ceremonial bronze hat. Please take good care of it. It is very special. And now he's upset. Aww. Hello again, Monkey Prince. Greetings, unenlightened one. Unenlightened, but I beat you, so man. <laughs> there are buttons and levers and stuff in the giant monkey head. Very interesting. All right, so I guess that's all we're gonna get from him for that. I really should be going. I wish you luck and health on your journey. So now we have a bronze monkey head. Or, not monkey head. A bronze hat. And a gubernatorial symbol. And a giant monkey head and something golden that appears to be moving now. So with that said, next time on Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. We are going to beat this game. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Goodbye. And yeah, I mean it. Next time we're going to beat the game. The final stretch of this game is not that long. Especially when you know what you're doing, but... There were also like tons of clues and stuff given to us on Monkey Island that will help us out in just figuring out what we need to do. So yeah, see you all next time when we beat this here game. Goodbye.